It is a very, very good evening to you and a very warm welcome to our Thursday night phone-in. Big, big stuff this. We are, of course, live on YouTube. We are, of course, live on Twitch. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. We are, of course, live on LinkedIn Live. Tremendous stuff. And uh, welcome, 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 I say. It's wonderful to have you with us. We are also streaming live on TikTok. So a very, very good evening to you on TikTok. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, I say. Always good to have you with us. Now, we had a wonderful morning show today. We popped up live and had a tremendous morning show just absolutely outstanding so if tonight's is anything like this morning's and last night's then it will just be incredible that's it so get the word out guys your job is to share and share and share and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that scotty mcclue is live on all these superb platforms now these are only five platforms apparently we can go up to 30 platforms so this will just grow and grow and grow but i would urge you i've done a small video on TikTok and on youtube and facebook to let you know to subscribe and tap the bell on the youtube channel and i've even guided you to the channel so you don't even have to do anything let's see what's going on here this is amazing uh, who have we got tonight? Wow, look at the reactions. Tired and current MOT. So there we are. Get it at five. Very good, Scotty. Uh, fantastic. Oh, wow. So much going on and so little time. This is just amazing. Amazing, I say. Uh, hello, Scotty Dinky Do. A shout out to Jackson. There's somebody being very rude about the Queen. So we'll give them a lifetime ban. We never have that. Aaron. You're the rudest man in the world. Go away. So there we are. He's gone. Fantastic. Hello, Scotty and Dinky Doo. Tremendous stuff. That's what it's all about, I say. Now then, off we go back to the telephones. If you've been ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing and redialing, let's see if we can get you on the phones. We're very, very busy on the phones tonight. Incredible. Wonderful. So that's what it's all about, I say. That's what it is about, Scotty McClure, Dinky Do. Here we go, back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty's Kareem. How are you doing? Oh, Kareem, well done. Were you trying a few times tonight? I uh, did, yes. It was Good. And well, well done to you for getting on. Fantastic. And there we go. We've got a tremendous reaction on TikTok as well. Welcome to all our lovely, lovely TikTokers to our live phone-in. Just amazing. Now then, good evening to the TikTokers from Kareem. Now, Kareem, what are we talking about tonight, I ask you? I've got nothing political or anything, just basic general chit-chat, Scotty. We like a bit of basic general chit-chat. This morning's show was absolutely outstanding, by the way. Scotty, uh, there's a lot of calls and a lot of people getting involved. Yep, absolutely amazing. And what a fantastic reaction we have had tonight, Kareem. I could tell you that for nothing. Yes, yes. Um, when I call, I can't obviously see the day on the screen or the TV. So I'll have a wee nosy when I'm off the phone. Absolutely. <laughs> Let me know how it's all looking. So there you go. And also the YouTube channel. We've sent out a little YouTube. You might want to. Pass it around, Kareem. It just lets everybody know what the channel exactly is. I think I've seen the video. It just uh, she was saying about uh, to subscribe. Yes, just subscribe and tap the bell. That's all that's been asked of people. I don't know what's difficult about that. Yes, I know. I know. The I know. only thing I can I think of is that every YouTube channel in the world is probably asking them to do the same thing. But this is yes. Scotty McClue. This is absolutely pivotal to what we do. Else on YouTube, we no. interact and talk and no. have a chit chat. There's nothing else like this at all. 
you know it's it's just an just incredible just incredible kareem lovely 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 now uh what i was going to say to you there's something i was going to run past you oh yes so we did that and we popped it up on TikTok, and then we popped it up on youtube as well so it's there for everybody to see so nobody's really got an excuse and also kareem i hope the cameras are looking better i know you can't see at the moment but as i say last night somebody said Scotty, your show's absolutely amazing, but we really only get to see your hat. Well, well it depends, Scotty, because sometimes I jump on to the Facebook, the YouTube, and the Twitch, and you're at different angles. Uh -huh. I've done that last, and when I done that last night, you did look fine in all of them. It's so, just a wee different angle of your face. A wee different yeah, angle. Sometimes if I lean forward to read something, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it might be whatever cameras or whatever you're using for each of the platforms that people are just seeing you at a, a slightly different angle, but it's nothing major at all. Not, not a problem, Kareem. I enjoy having you on. I will press on. And, of course, you've always got a second call if anything comes up your hump, as we say in Scotland. Yeah, I'll have a wee listen to everyone. They might do a second call. If not, I'll speak to you tomorrow morning. I look forward to it because tomorrow will be our last morning phone-in being Friday. Be and the, tomorrow's phone in will be at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning and then 10 o'clock at night. 10 o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock at night. 12 hours in between. <laughs> Lots of love, Kareem. You're a top man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. God bless you. That's our Kareem. What an amazing man. So much feedback from you guys. Just terrific. I don't know about you, but I'm just wondering... Pablo says he sounds like he had a swally. Good evening, Lord McClure. Good evening, Dinky Do. I think Matty was put out of order last night. You deserve an apology. I don't know what that's all about. Some nonsense. You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, thank you very much for that. That's very, very kind of you. Donald, where's your trousers? Martin, good to have you with us, and thank you, do. How's your lovely day? It's been very good. It's been an outstanding day, Martin. Thank you very much for asking. Absolutely brilliant. What do you want to chat about then? Oh, well, we chat about everything, Martin. You've got to decide before you phone me. I know, so we can talk about um, log files, if you want, or... Um, anything like so trust me you could talk about all these things absolutely martin yes indeed things that you want to know about that's why people phone scotty yes so um have you um, had any more rude people on since come on uh, no know? we haven't had any rude people on at all i'm very glad to say so i think that's rather good good so how's all your the tables doing all the rules are the people got a lot more um rules a lot, a lot more viewers, yes, absolutely. And a lot of people now, it's been made very clear. Uh, I don't know if you're a TikToker, Martin. Yes, yes, I am. So yes. you'll know on TikTok. So if you look on Scotty McClue's TikTok, at Scotty McClue, you will see uh -huh. that there's a brand new TikTok video for you. Lovely, nice. And that tells everybody the YouTube channel as well, because you're on YouTube as well, aren't you? Yes, I am on YouTube quite a lot because I read the same to a lot of other videos to go on as well. And do you watch? Do you watch on YouTube, Martin, or do you watch on TikTok? Um, I am watching YouTube because I am what um, I've watched all the videos from number one so far. But I've got a lot more to watch in time. But but um, I am actually. Push them all back in there as time go, goes on. Lovely. So, do you watch a few of McClue's uh, previous shows then? Yes. We will do our best for that, Martin. If we build this up and become famous across the internet, we'll all have a wee night together. Yeah, that's going to be great. You, me, and Emma. Absolutely, that will be fantastic. And I say to you, dinky do, dinky do, ta la fantastic to the telephones guys as quickly as possible lots to talk about and again so little time to do it in this is not for the faint-hearted i could tell you suzanne says chocolate tort 
is a bit icky. Is that right, Suzanne? How amazing is that? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, it's Emma. Hello, Emma. Dinky do. Dinky do to you. Yes, absolutely. That's you used up your two calls tonight because you're with Martin. But it's lovely to hear from you. Have you had a good day? Yes, I have of you. Yes, outstanding, Emma. Fantastic. Just a lovely, lovely day. And this morning's phone in was amazing. And tonight's is amazing as well. Oh, that's good. That's all right, isn't it? It is. It is. Once you get all your viewers, you'll keep all the numbers up. Well, get the numbers up, my dear. And thank you so much for your call. And dinky do. And thank you to you. Thank you to you, La. There we are. Fantastic. So that's Martin and Emma. To the telephones as quickly as possible. Lots of reaction from you, of course. And I will bring that to you. Thank you to Lord McClue. Water or pop, James? Never pop, always water. I say to you. You need to explain the rules to Martin Scotty. No football, no second names, and no sweary words. Not to eat, I think so. I don't think he did any sweary words. A dinky do Christmas night outlaw. Absolutely beachy, beachy. How are you keeping? Did you get over your tiredness? We want to know. What else have we got here? Lots and lots of reaction from you. Hello, everyone, says Kareem. Hope you're all well. Thank you, Kareem. What a nice thing to say. So there we go. Now, who have we got here? Did you do? There's Mike asking for us to say, let's go, Brandon, to his brother, Mr. McClue. I make an inquiry about your pronouns. We never, ever, ever, ever ask about pronouns on here because we're all inclusive. Nobody has to identify as anything and nobody has to justify themselves. Doddies, I am... Thank you for sending me beautiful, beautiful TikToks. Doddy's I am, guys, has sent me be 10 beautiful TikToks on TikTok. Dinky do, dinky do, Ronnie. How lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 I say. To the telephones, have you been ringing and ringing and ringing? And redialing and redialing and redialing. Always good to hear from you. Give us a call. You'll get the number in front of you. Apologies, Mr. McClure, not a call. Guys, a call. No problem at all. And dinky do. We say to you, welcome to our beautiful TikTokers live on TikTok. We're also live on YouTube. Subscribe and tap the bell. Let's get these subscribers up big style because it makes a big difference. So there we go. Now then, hello, Scotty, dinky do. TikTok will. How lovely to have you with us and a very, very, very warm welcome to you. This is amazing. Doddy's Ian is giving me more TikToks. You're very kind, Doddy's Ian. Thank you to every single one of you. Beautiful, beautiful TikTokers for sending so many lovely, lovely gifts. Remember, Scotty McClure is free. You're not obliged to give or send anything. We are free at the point of delivery. However, if you are feeling flush, there is a paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. And there's a gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Water is lush at the London Bridge. I don't know that. I have beautiful Scottish water here. Dinky do. Mm. Mm. That is absolutely lush. I could tell you for nothing. Tremendous stuff. Now, quick comfort break. Woo! It's roasting in the studio here. Always roasting. Mad beggar says, yard dassel. There we are. You are a mad beggar, yard dassel. Stephen McMahon says, I'll try and catch up tomorrow morning, Scotty. Dinky do. Dinky do, everybody. Uh, Kareem says, I bought a new UPVC door uh, today. £1,000. Why are prices so expensive now? Brexit. Yes, we think Brexit has broken Britain. That was the maddest thing we could ever have done. Now, guys, if you're phoning, anybody want to test out the phones? Let's have you on here and a dinky do to you. Here we go. 
Oh, I just missed that one there. There we go. Feel free to ring and we'll get you on for the chit chat. Dinky do, Scotty McClure. How are we, son? Lovely to have you with us. And that is the Ginganim. Ginganim. I'm going to turn down the lights a bit just to see if we can. Is that too dark for you guys? Let me know. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Kevin. Kevin. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do, la. Kevin, I love the fact you're from the Isle of Man because yeah. I used to work for Border Television, then I worked for Red yeah. Rose and Century Radio, and the Isle of Man were big, big listeners. Yeah, we're now on the Granada uh, side of things. Now. Ah, yeah. right, I see, fantastic. Yeah. Otherwise, I used to be, I mean, it's 35 years ago now, but I used to be your newscaster. Oh, did you? Yep, you'd have seen me pop yeah. up, the Isle of Man. By the way. Oh, I love Dodsey. Have you just sent me massive presents? That's me, yeah, yeah. You are very, very, very kind. Now tell me, oh, well. um, the yeah, Isle of Man, right. we've got Douglas, we've got Peel, yeah. yeah, all that's these are the Castleton. That's in the south. Yeah, we've got that one as well. And you've got the House of Keys. Yeah, that's the Wedding Cake building that's in Douglas. Yeah, and you've got Tinwald. John's up in the middle of the island. How lovely to have you on. I remember uh, giving somebody a lift down to West Cumbria on a summer's evening. And I said oh, to them, what's that I'm seeing across the sea there? And they went, that's the Isle of Man. Yeah. How wonderful. And yeah. I also remember the lovely big right. turbine steamers that used to go from Liverpool to Douglas. Yeah, that was, um, oh, it might have been the night. That was, uh, wow, can you remember these then? Uh, well, no, I, I, I know of them. You know of them. There was uh, the Manxman, uh, the Mona's Isle, the Manx Maid, the Lady of Man, and all these well, sort of... The Lady of Man. The Lady of Man was actually in service when I uh, moved to the island in 1989. Ah, but was that the new Lady of Man, or was that the 1930s job? No, that was uh, the newer one that was the revised. Was one. that a car ferry? Yeah, that was a car ferry because they used that for the TT as well. Ah, yes, because I think one used to come from Hesham and originally they also went from Adrossen in oh. Scotland. Uh, well, it was Caledonian that, uh, that did those, and we didn't actually have, well, the island didn't actually have um, any ferries going to uh, Scotland. Yeah. Ah, right. So it was really just cruises. Yeah. How fantastic. Well, what a wonderful, well, wonderful setup. Well, our ferries only go from the Douglas Port to Haitian. Um, they used to go to um, Wales, I believe. But they hadn't done that since um, the, the pedal was in, um, in service. Oh, wow. This is just amazing. This is amazing. I love the quality of this chat. You're very welcome. Tell me, how are things on the Isle of Man at the moment? I mean, I know it used to be just very, very swish because there was a lot of money coming into the Isle of Man, shall we say? Well, everyone says it's a tax haven, but that's no longer the case anymore. So, right. uh, you know, if you plan on investing in the island, I wouldn't. So you wouldn't, wouldn't bother with any of that? Not unless you've got millions and millions of pounds, and maybe you, you might be able to, uh, to to come across that. I've of, come across a couple of very uh, financially wealthy, I use, because, I mean, I feel people can be rich without money, and uh, financially wealthy people, and they actually lived in the, the, the fact that they were going as a tax haven, decreed that yeah. they had to live on the island. Taxes are lower over here, uh, which is a, be a big benefit because you know you've got um, the, the tax in in London, and they're um, something like what 20 30 percent more than what the island is. Right. I know our tax is a lot lesser over here, and also we don't have to pay like stamp duty on housing and stuff like that. Wow! And can you still get a reasonably priced property on the island then? Well, yeah. I mean, I mean. 
recently in the news they had um, houses going up a thousand pound a day. I don't know if that's the same in the UK, but certainly over here. Yeah, apparently there's a bit of a, a bit of a house price hike in the UK at the moment, but everything else is struggling. Yeah, it's been a similar situation with the houses over here too, but it's not as high as um, as the UK, of course. But the cost of living in the UK is a lot higher compared to. Um, the Iron Man as well. Wow, love it, absolutely love it. And tell me, what about crime? Because the Isle of Man used to be famous for the birch. Uh, well, yeah, no one's been birched over here for years. Um, I think the, in fact, the last um, known of the of hanging, I think, was um, only in the seventies, perhaps. I could be wrong on that. Right, very, very interesting because I can remember when I started broadcasting, I got phone calls and it was people telling us when they were young, they used to go to the Isle of Man on holiday and if they misbehaved, the police gave them a good thrashing. Oh, you don't get any of that now. I mean, you might uh, get the, uh, one or two people that have, um, you know, deserved a slap or two when they've come out of the pubs, but... You don't usually hear about getting no. about by the police over here. In fact, the, the, the humour of the police over here is quite fun, actually. If you've seen some of the, the TT. Um, yeah, amazing. And the TT, of course, absolutely incredible. Well, that's what we are famous for, isn't it? So, you know, the TT uh, is the other man. That and the big know. wheel, is it the, the Laxi wheel? Oh, the lady of the belly. Yeah, she's not turning at the moment because she's got um, a, a damaged wheel bearing. Right. But, uh, you know, with a 70, uh, a 70 ton, I think that wheel is. Wow. So maybe 70 ton or maybe more, but um, that's a lot of um, metal on metal uh, for that wheel bearing to, to endure. So she's not spinning at the moment, but I think she needs um, something like 70,000 to um, maybe 700,000 to, to get her spinning again. I get her moving again. It may well happen, uh, you know. Sorry? It may well happen. Well, let's hope so. If we get some more tourism over here next year, we'll uh, certainly get a spinning again. <laughs> Good. Well, maybe arrange if, uh, uh, you know, we build up the phone in at the rate it's building, we'll maybe arrange to have uh, a night on the Isle of Man. That's it. <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, lovely talking to you, and thank you so much Bye, for your call. Wonderful. Dinky Doola, all the very, very best. How fantastic yeah. is that? Thank you. There we go. Wonderful. I love this, guys. Just amazing. As I mean, Scottish independence, Brexit times 100. Danny, you're talking nonsense. Yes, I'd love if you'd phone up and tell me where you got that figure from. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scottish. Who is it? Isaiah. Isaiah. Hi. Isaiah. Yes. Got it. Sorry, I just need to get a handle. I couldn't hear you very well. Are you talking oh, into God. your mic, Isaiah? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good man. Yes, indeed. What can I do for you? Hi, Scotty. So I'm 21 years old at university, and I know you yourself, you studied at university in Glasgow. Yes. So I was wondering um, what uh, piece of advice would you give to young people who are at university? Well, I would say to you, have a very nice time, work extremely hard, get the work ethic right, but also play hard and work hard. You've had a very, very tough time with all that's been going on, and uh, we send you terrific strength. Um, try and get the best deal on property and everything. I'm so sorry that you've got to pay such high um, costs and things like that. Um, but uh, I don't like the idea of people leaving with student loans. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? So, I mean, we're definitely on your side. The nation is rooting for you. Now, tell us straight here, because nobody really knows, you know, who you are or what you do. Um, you know, how are things going from your point of view? Um, you know, in terms of, I, I live away from home at, at, when I'm at university. Yep. Um, so it, it's a bit weird in the sense that, um, you know, when coronavirus was around, I was at home um, because there was no point being at university because it was all online. So I was at home for 18 months 
and uh, that's me. I'm going into my last year having only done. Now tell me this that. because I'm fascinated. How have you found the online learning? Um, it's it's a bit of a double-edged sword, Scotty. I mean, you've got the benefit of being able to sort of access the resources whenever it's convenient to yourself. Um, but at the same time, you've also got you know the drawback of not having that sort of live interaction, where you know you can ask questions and you know you can consult with your colleagues on the course. Yes. You know, so, um, you know, it's it's also been bad in the sense of you know the social sort of sense. You haven't been able to see anything, to, not see anything, see anybody, and you haven't also been able to uh, you know see your friends. Yeah, because I mean, we were so lucky. I mean, we used to go into an absolutely packed beer bar. Yes, I was going to say, you must have been at the beer bar. I remember uh, you won't be anywhere near the age that my grandfather was. He studied the class. Well, I might, I might not be far off it. You might be surprised, Isaiah. No, no, no. He's, he's long gone. Uh, but uh, I remember my dad giving me about the beer bar. Oh, the beer bar was absolutely legendary, and they used to come round and check our diaries and our matric cards. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Night of Shame. Night of Shame? Yes, um, he had something to say about that. He said, you know, it was a very interesting sort of event. He got to witness that looking back at it now, it wasn't very easy what he did. No, it wasn't terribly PC, and we got up to all sorts of things, drinking games and things like that, but a lot of laughter, a lot of fun as well and a terrific amount of of socializing you know yeah but you had you also had i don't know if you still got it it's probably not pc but you had the queen margaret union for the ladies yes. and you had the men's union for the guys Can't remember that one. I don't think we'll go there, but it was it was just amazing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I I remember it very very fondly. Yeah, yeah. And the booze the booze was absolutely cheapo. Yeah, I heard as well. It was really cheap. Get like a pint of beer for twenty fifty pence. Oh yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. And my first uh, uh, beer, I think, was. Uh, was something I can't remember. Um, it was pretty cheap anyway, and I can remember the rugby club used to sell beer at two and tuppence, which is about 11p. Yeah, well, that's just something else. And then, what was the Bath Friday? I don't know if you've ever heard of that one. Uh, yeah, and uh, also Rag Week. Yes, Rag Week as well. I'm not as bad as myself. And the political side, I mean, they were quite vicious with the political side, you know? Somebody might find their leaflets got dumped in the Kelvin. <laughs> My dear man, I'm going to have to dash. What a privilege to have you on. And all the very best with your last year. Keep in touch with me. Thank you, do, my boy. What a top man. That's it. Last uh, time at uni for him. Uh, Gordon Robertson, I see light fittings and picture frames. I hope you remember doing the high dusting. Get yourself out to Tenerife, Scotty, says Stephen. That'd be great to the next Christmas night out, says Martin. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, hello, Scotty. How are you getting on, Who, Who's that? My name's Jordan. Jordan. Lovely to have you with us at Dinky Doo. How are you doing, my friend? I'm absolutely fine, Jordan. I am just amazed at the quality of the calls. Oh, I tell you, you've got some good banter on here tonight, Mike. There's some time. proper, proper chat on here tonight. Oh, thank you. So tell me, what, what you've been doing with yourself today? Uh, what have I been doing? Is I'm broadcasting in the morning from 10 o'clock until 11. And then we made a little TikTok in the afternoon so that everybody can see to go on to the YouTube channel and subscribe and tap the bell. Oh, fantastic. Uh, well, I hope you get plenty of subscriptions in yourself. We want to get the subscribers up because it's pivotal to the show and we want everybody to know that the show's on. Now, if when they all know the show's on, they don't want to watch or listen, Finn names ever on here, um, and that she will just give you a lifetime ban. Okay, two seconds. 
lifetime ban for that guy and uh, obviously his number will be recorded so there we are fantastic there we go that's lovely that is good he'll be getting a wee knock on the door hello you're live on scottish funny and who's that hello scotty it's danny danny how are you i'm good how are you uh, better for hearing you're lovely to have you with us in dinky do uh, dinky do that's very kind well i've come on to say you know i said uh scottish independence would be Brexit times 100. yeah so you did now where are you coming from with that danny well the idea of well you've seen the damage that leaving a 50 odd year union has done imagine unpicking a 200 yeah. No, 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 no. Different setup. You've got to remember Europe has done nothing but give to Scotland. Westminster has done nothing but take from Scotland. Well, I do you see do you see the difference? Well, no, because I think Scotland receives uh, overall dividends. No, no. What no, day. Danny, let me give you the facts and then you can give me your opinion, right? Scotland furnishes Westminster with £75 billion a year. Scotland gets back £28 billion a year. You do the maths on that. So that's about 47,000, sorry, 47 billion. We would be better off immediately from independence. Well, certainly with those figures that you give uh, on the surface it does sound that way but i mean i'm not sure where you're getting those figures. no no these are official figures that's what happens so it's not a question of not being sure where they come from that is the deal and that's the one sorry that's the one that um, that has been worked out for the equation no, no, that's the official figure, right? Within the jazz figures, if I remember when I last looked at them, there was one that said unknown figure. Now, if you've got an unknown figure, that's no accountant would accept that. So I'm giving you the actual proper figures. Yeah? Well, I'm just going off the figures. And I'm going on the Barnet formula. So £75 billion into Westminster from all of Scotland's resources. And remember, there's a lot of the trade that's allocated to the UK that Scotland doesn't get the credit for as well. Well, about, so what do you think of this claim that uh, each individual in Scotland is £2,000 per head better off? In the UK. Well, there might be two thousand pounds per head better off in the UK. That's not a problem, but there'd be an awful lot more than that better off if we were independent. So, how do you think Scotland would get its tax take as an independent country? Where do you think the main tax take would come from? How do you mean? Where would it come from? It would come from the income. Well, well, half, over half of Scots are on some kind of universal credit. Yes, at the moment, because we're part of Westminster, and Westminster's done nothing but destroy the Scottish economy for 313 years. Right, okay. well, right, because what we used to be, right, what we used to be, we used to be fantastic producers of so many things. We still are producing. I mean, there's Craig saying food and drinks worth 11 billion alone. Tourism is another 7 billion. No, well, you're not living off food and drink and tourism. You're living off renewable energy. You're living off agriculture. You know, what do you mean you can't live off food? Scotland is a larder. Well, what about the oil, Scotty? The oil, there's still plenty of oil. There's about another thousand years of oil and gas. Well, so there is. Uh, but last year, we were, we were literally paying people take away the oil we couldn't give it away. yeah well you look at the price of oil now and tell me what we're doing well certainly not as, as it's not certainly not going for as much as 114 pound a barrel which it was in 2014 no but it's going for a lot more than it was 
but it's such a fluctuating yeah but that's that's the oil we are no longer dependent on the oil and if you look at what westminster's taken out of the oil have you read the macron report from 1975 from 1975 yes have you read no, that report no. Right. Well, Gavin Macron's one of the world's finest economists, and he wrote the report, and the report was so shocking that Scotland were getting robbed so blind that they had to hush the report up. I'll have a look at that. What was, what was the name of that? Economy? Macron, M small c, capital C-R-O-N-E, Gavin Macron, R-G-L Macron, one of the I'll, finest I'll, economists. I'll be interested. Yes, a man that used to run the Scottish Economic Planning Department knows every penny that's in Scotland. Now, what about our currency, Scotty? What about it? What do you mean? Well, what currency would an independent Scotland you Well, you have an absolute choice. I mean, in 1707, when the Union, which was stuffed with jiggery-pokery and run by Queen Anne, who was actually a Stuart, yes, uh, so there's a lot of jiggery pokery going on, and the union has never ever been fa been fair, and it is built on sand. So we had to seriously, 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 even with a deep, deep recession caused by Westminster, yeah, we had to seriously devalue the Scottish economy to facilitate economic union. Right. So that was the pound Scots being uh, merged with the pound sterling. There would be nothing to stop us using the pound sterling. Absolutely, but it would be governed by the Bank of England. Yes, absolutely. The Bank of England, a Scottish invention, and the government banker, but there would be nothing to stop Scotland opening an account with the Bank of England. Yes, but the interest rates and what have you will be controlled by the Bank of England, which we would have, you know, we would be then, which would be in a, then a foreign country. Well, it wouldn't actually, no, it wouldn't be a foreign country as such because banks go across borders. Yes, but we couldn't use certain uh, economic levers such as quantitative easing, you know, because... Well, what, what was to stop us using power. quantitative easing? Why would we need quantitative easing? We haven't borrowed anything. Well, that, that was one of the, the methods that the Scottish government mentioned that they might have used to deal with the, the COVID. Yes, absolutely. But the COVID is small beer compared with Brexit. Brexit's cost us over two hundred and fifty billion pounds to date, with nothing to show for it. Oh, absolutely, I certainly agree with you. I, you know, I, I, I voted to remain, and you know, I, I wish we did remain. But I just feel that Scottish independence would just supercharge the uh, the effects of Brexit. Well, I think yeah, but you're not working off any facts. I mean, you've come out with that, and now that we've told you the figures. What you're saying does not hold true. Well, you've told me your figures. I've told no, that's not my figures. These are the official figures. Well, Scotty McClure doesn't have figures. I don't make up figures for the Scottish economy. I'm not an economist and I'm not an international banker. Well, it's good to hear your view anyway, Scotty. But what about this? Well, that's not just a view. These We've given you the facts now. Join the European Union then as an independent country? Well, if that would be acceptable, I think the, the European Union would be delighted. So, potentially, then the euro then you would like to use then? As you can use the euro, yes. You see, it doesn't matter. Currencies are actually wampum. Do you know what wampum is? Go on. Well, the Maoris used to use shells as their currency. Wampum. And uh, it doesn't really matter what you're choosing. I mean, I can remember touring Ireland when they had the punt. Yeah. You yeah. see? Yeah. And the punt, well, you could you could get an exchange for the punt. Yeah, Scotland used to have the groat. We had the groat, the fourpenny piece. Yes, but then the problem is, I mean, how many groats? Uh, it's going to be paid out in the state pension. Well, I don't think there'll be any groats being paid out because we don't any longer have uh, pound shillings and denarius. <laughs> anyway. So we're not dealing groats. So you go away, have a wee look at your facts, 
and then uh, pop back on and we'll see what's what. Yes, I'll be back. I'll be back. I hope so, and dinky do. Thank you too, top man. There we are, fantastic. Talking a lot of nonsense, but hopefully we've put him right, I would say. Who have we got here? You're live at Scotty's Phone In, who's that? Hi, meaty boy. What a stupid, boring caller that was. I've been waiting for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Well, last night we had 120 other calls we could have got on. But yes. I I I'm going down to Cambridge tomorrow. Lovely. Um, I've got a little uh, recital request. I'm going to go to in Clear College. Fabulous. Um, but 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 can you back your lungs? Yes. I don't want any English people to call you because I don't think they're very bright. You don't I think don't English think. people are bright? That's a bit of a sweeping statement. And uh, I mean, we've got to look at how bright are you? Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. No, uh, 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 you know, you know how bright I am. Yes, I, you are. You're, 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 you're highly intelligent, and you're a wonderful, wonderful musician. There's been a lot of boring, boring callers. On but you're a very cheeky yeah. man. Here's a guy here saying that racist. Sorry, but what race? Are the English? They are of mixed no. race. No, ex uh, no, excuse me. This is a Scottish program. Yes, it did absolutely. So there we go. There's too many idiots are ready to shout out things are racist when they're certainly not. Yes. No. 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 The wonderful thing is, uh, you know, when we do the organ recitals, it's wonderful, 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 and then we have an encore. I have prepared a special encore. And it is the theme tune. I don't know if you quite remember your theme tune. It was called Scotty and his Auntie Fanny. Dance with your granny and your Auntie Fanny. Now, ha, 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 ha. I'm going to be playing that at the lunchtime recital on Saturday in Clare College. And if, if, I care. I would like to maybe send that over to you, but only, only if you just listen up to me and make sure that you respect my opinions, because some of your calls are a bit cheeky, they're a bit, they're a bit criticizing. Yeah, but you could be a, a bit cheeky yourself. I mean, with somebody on last night wondering if you were actually the full shilling. How bloody well, dear. Oh, language! Right, to the telephones as quickly as possible. How's it going, Scotty? Andy Pandy, how lovely to hear from you. And Dinky, do tremendous stuff. Uh, Scotty, what are your opinions on Scotland making tampons free? I think it's a wonderful, wonderful idea because people do need these things and there are people in period poverty. So good for Scotland. Uh, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. Second call. Ah, Kareem. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you, do. Thank you, do, Scotty. I'm going to say congratulations and well done. The information that you put across to that gentleman that phoned regarding why Scotland is better being part of Westminster, it was absolutely. It's what you have to come up against, sadly, that people are not having the right facts or the figures, and it's all about opinions. Yes. And sadly, he will probably look for information, but it will be more so on unionist websites yes. where the. So they so he'll just get told a load of whoppers, Karim. And he kept saying to me, well, uh, thanks for your opinion. I thought, no, that's not my opinion. And then he was going, well, these are your figures. They're not my figures at all. Yeah. And I noticed... The Andy Pandy, Kareem, has just sent me 100 TikToks. Wow. Over 100. Excellent. Well done. Nearly 200. Oh, it's going higher. <laughs> oh my goodness, we said 200 TikToks. Well done, well done. Well done, Andy Pandy. He's, 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 get, he's, he's like yourself. Yeah, well, listen, every little helps. It does. Oh, 280. Wow. 
280 TikToks. Yeah, keep them coming. 290, <laughs> 300, 320. For wow. goodness sake, Kareem. Andy, yeah. Pandy. He'll wipe himself out. Uh, yeah. Here's a half wit. Here's a half wit called uh, Corey saying, "Go uh, to bed, old man." So uh, he's maybe talking to his grandpa. So we'll we'll, we'll send him uh, doing the swanee. The swanee, absolutely. He's away doing the swanee. I'm saying, well done, Scotty, because that was that's what you're having to put up with, yeah. and I felt that you answered that perfectly well about this is how much we give Westminster, this is how much we get back, if we have all our money, think what we could do with it. It's oh, as simple as that. Very simple. You know, and ha I mean, to ask me, what do you think about the fact that they get another 1500 or two grand? Well, think how much we'd get if we kept our own money. Yeah. <clears throat> and Kareem, I'll tell you what else... Yeah, I'll tell you what else he was missing out there is that the um the problem that you've got there is that there's so much stuff that now comes under the uk do you remember just before the uh, referendum in 2014 uh -huh. <coughs> there was so much stuff covered in the salt tire in supermarkets Correct. now you almost never see that now do you remember also in uh, officialdom, because you work in official circles, you would get forums um, asking, are you English or Scottish? Are you Scottish or British? And after the referendum, because they'd said no to independence on that, we suddenly got that option removed. Yeah. Yeah. You see, and it just disappeared. And that option needs to come back. You hear people talking about Britain as this country. You mean this four countries, or are Westminster just talking about England? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's a way of losing your identity, Scotland's yes. identity, yes. Uh, culture, heritage. It's it's meaning, and it's quite worrying. There's one I'm not going to name. The small supermarket. But they do continue with a lot of products with the salt tire, but a lot of other supermarkets have went down uh, the opposite way. Which yes. So you see a lot of stuff that's coming in. They're saying that Scottish beef, Scottish meat, all that stuff has come from the UK. So we're not getting credited with the money that Scotland's bringing in for all of that. Well, that example, Scotty, you'll know yourself, we are so famous throughout the world for producing whiskey. Scottish uh, whiskey, and, yes. And however, our, a lot of, what, there was a lot of debate about this in one of the newspapers. I won't name the name, but I was tagging quite a lot of stuff. Yeah. But in China, now it's not Scottish whiskey, it's now British whiskey, British haggis. You know, they, they've lost the, the, the Scottish... You see, whiskey. that shouldn't be allowed. That should be taken back to trading standards. You know, if it's coming from yeah. Scotland, yeah. it's Scottish. Because there's no yeah. such thing as British. That just means the people on the land mass of Great Britain. So it's going to be yeah. coming from Scotland, England, Northern Ireland or Wales, if it's United Kingdom. Yeah. Thing, Scotty, when the SNP, the Greens, uh, and Alba, when the NDF2 will be called, I will be, I will be definitely doing my part to basically get information out there. I will be going in walks, and I will be taking part in local groups because I just think it's so important that we get it right this time. And it's not just for us; it's for the children that are, are growing up now. We have to get it right for them or they've had it basically when they Yes, I think, well, it's always to do. You see, I've always, I've never, ever been greedy, and I've always yeah. seen my job in the world as curating it for the next generation. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. You know, the yeah. same as your job, Kareem, you're passing on knowledge and understanding to the next mm -hmm. generation. Yeah, totally. And one thing, if that caller is listening, that a lot of big companies down in England will move to Scotland if there's going to be if they're going to be saving money by getting not paying tariffs, etc. 
you know, if, like what they're having to pay now because they're not in the EU. In Scotland, as I keep saying, we said yesterday, I think this morning, the deals and the trading deals that they will have with England will continue. Oh. If anything, I think it will benefit England if Scotland becomes independent. And well, Scotland also, you see, you see, Scotland has always been independent apart from 313 year blip. And we forget that Scotland has always traded with Europe going back thousands of years. Correct. We will have a, a strong <clears throat> independent Scotland, whether it's the pound or whatever currency we decide, and there will be a very strong monarchy leading the way. Uh, and on that note, I will say good night. I'll say good night and God bless Kareem. And uh, please feel free to join me tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Dula. All the very best. Tara now. There we are. That's our Kareem. That is quality stuff. Andy Pandey on TikTok. Thank you for your 500, 500 beautiful, beautiful TikToks. What a lovely thing to do. Beachy, Beachy, thank you for sending me likes. I've got 7,000 likes on TikTok tonight. Guys, share the TikTok. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell. Uh, your TikTokers, if you go to Scott McClue's TikTok videos, you'll be able to see how to join the YouTube. And you'll see the URL below my bio on TikTok. Right off the phones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Numpty. Hi, Numpty. Lovely to have you with us tonight. Apart from one total half-wit, the calls have been excellent tonight. You've been stowed at the door and stop it. Stowed at the door and step it through we have. Aye. Aye. Now, you got to listen to some sense for a change. For, from you. Absolutely. That yeah, will be for a change, change, I'll tell you, Numpty. Heat. And I, yeah. I think a change is as good as a rest. So if you're going to send me cents, I'm up for that. Hello. Leslie Davis has just sent me 20 beautiful red roses and a donut. Well, nice, Sam. Um, however, Scotty, your hashtag floatai. Yes. Right? First Lord of the Internet. It says disgusting. What? It, it says disgusting floatai. It makes you think of floaters in your... Gym. No, I know. That's just the way your mind works. Nobody uh, thinks of floaters. Come on, the first thing you think of when you're not at all, not at all. Not at all. You're needing to tidy your mind up. Well, you need to tidy your hashtags up. No, flow ties are beauty. So you've got not at all. No, 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 no. You've got Potus, Potus, President of the United States, Flotus, First Lady of the United States. Flotai, First Lord of the Internet. All right. Now, listen, Larry, Guy, lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Beachy Beachy <laughs> has just put hashtag Flotai. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. I'm worried, I'm worried in case me boys try to get through with a second call for that. Suzanne says, Suzanne says, matey boys his own worst enemy. Oh, he's having a laugh with your Scotty, telling you to shut your gob and all that. All that kind of stuff. He's got a point where he's telling you to shut your gob because you can't get a word done. Can't get a word done with you, I'll tell you, dinky do. Away you go. Away you go and listen. Next time yeah. you come on, come on with something sensible. You can have it, Brexit. Dinky do. Right, to the telephones as quickly as possible. We're very, very tight for time, guys. But lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us. Let's see if we can get just a little bit of stuff here. Scotty, I think it's about time we went on our own, says the wonderful John Garvey. Got our independence, Westminster do not have a clue in regards to Scotland. Surely we can give this a try once and for all. Let's see how we go. There we are. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Hello. It, this is Big D here. Big D, how are you? I'm not bad, mate. Now, what do you think about the current situation doing the road? Doing the road, I think that that's just one of these things we've got to deal with. Absolutely, wherever doing the road is. To the telephones as quickly as possible. We'll squeeze in a small one, as the missus never tires of telling me. 
I've got our tea here, says Suzanne. There we go. And uh, he plays the Muthi, Professor Numpty Heat. We're being schooled, Numpty. What about the fatties, says Eddie. Yes, I think you mean the obese people, Eddie. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Craig. Craig, how are you, sir? I'm all right. How are you? E excellent. About time you phoned. Thank you for all your chat tonight. I know. Scotty, I'm just going to make this a quick one. I'm going to come on tomorrow morning. And, and Aye, because we're on at 10 o'clock tomorrow, last one of the week. Yes. Wait, give, me a, give me an insight. What is your opinion of the... Um, nationalisation of the Ferguson shipyard in Port Glasgow. Well, it's very difficult because we need to get shipbuilding back. There's a huge market for shipbuilding across the world. And we should actually have uh, a monopoly on it in Scotland because we had all the skills. We've got the area. You think big players like Yarrows came to Scotland from London originally. So everything's here. We don't use, we don't produce our own steel now, though, and we don't produce our own coal for producing steel. So things have changed, you know, and Ferguson's, I knew the Ferguson brothers very well, and Ferguson's built the last sailing ship in 1936. You know, so they've got a huge history of building it, but... I mean, I don't know the setup economically. I would need to be on the inside. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's when us, you know, we're reading things like, um, you know, the remedial work to complete these two ferries is 114 million. We've got a guy who's running it who's earning 800. Thousand. Well, we're not going to go into that just now, Craig. So there we are. Uh, you know, we need to see what is what, but we certainly uh, won't go into individual figures. Um, you know, until we've got everything in front of us. Lovely to hear from you, though, and thank you very much for that. Now, how are we doing for time? We're very tight for time. I'm going to have to say good night to the beautiful TikTokers. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And ta las. Thank you, TikTokers. Fantastic. There we go. Sadly, we have to lose your, our TikTokers. There we are. That's our lovely TikTokers have gone. Last call of the night. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Caroline. Caroline, how lovely to hear you and Dinky do. Hello. Now, what's been happening in the country? Well, what's been happening is I'm going to have to dash because we're out of time, but I send you love. There we are, Dinky Doo, fantastic. That's it, folks. We're out of time. Good night, God bless, Dinky Doo.